Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and we're gonna go over our two minute tea, something that people don't ever talk about and it is the cost of supplying furniture for your photography studio. So I am gonna give you my secrets. Ready? Let's get to it. I am gonna show you how I took this chair from Facebook Market and I turned it into this chair. Yes. Hi, so I found this great Facebook find. It was on Facebook Market. They were giving it away for free and I brought it home because it was exactly what I was looking for. The people who had it before had cats, so it had a lot of cat hair. Um, it wasn't, it didn't stink at all. It actually was in very good shape, but there was a few stains on there that I could not get out. So what I did was I went to Home Depot and I picked up regular chalk paint and I bought a navy blue color because I wanted it to cover the stains. And so what I did was I drenched the entire chair with fabric softener and then I took the fat, the chalk paint and I dipped it into the fabric softener with water. I diluted the fabric softener and then just kind of just brushed it into the fabric. I did this quite a few times. It didn't really cover the fabric the first few times that I did it. So the first time you could kind of see the pattern seeping through and I really wanted that blue to be very vibrant. So I let it dry and then I painted it again. Then I let it sit overnight and then I painted it again. I gave this chair four coats. Then I got some sandpaper, I sanded down the legs. Now here's a tip, opening the windows and turning on a fan doesn't really cause ventilation. I nearly killed my family with the smell of the spray paint, but the spray paint was a quick fix and I was really anxious to get this chair done because I wanted to use it in the studio. Now here's one of the things that you need to know. Once the chair is complete, this is not the end. You need to get a wax to seal the fabric because if someone sits on this chair, the blue is going to bleed onto their clothing. So what I did was I bought a wax from Home Depot. Um, it's meant to seal chalk paint and I just rubbed it all over the chair. And this is the finished product. I was actually quite pleased with it. So if you're looking for you know, furniture to put inside of your studio, this is the way to go about it because it is free, it's just time consuming, but at least you're supplying furniture in your studio on a dime. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and please share. Also, don't forget to check out the playlist. Some good content in there.